crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet and builds mountains. Uncover buried treasure and see what makes mountains blow. Find out what shapes the top of the Earth and explore the secret world below with me, Nick, on the rocks. This is Tacoma, Washington, and that is Mount Rainier, more than 40 miles away. Did you know that the bedrock beneath this city was created by that mountain? It's a volcano. An eruption sent volcanic mud high in the alpine zone down here to the blue waters of Puget Sound. What happened exactly? When did it happen? And will it happen again? This is the side of Rainier that failed, the east side. 5,600 years ago, the summit, which used to be 1,000 feet higher than today, and the east flank failed catastrophically and flowed all the way to Tacoma. So this is the White River. This is the path to Tacoma that the Osceola mud flow took. Can you picture this? Up to 500 feet of liquid cement from wall to wall, traveling up to 50 miles an hour, coming right down this river valley, picking up trees, rocks, anything in its path. There's a good 30 miles to go before we get to Puget Sound. The mud flow's rocks match the chemistry of Mount Rainier's rocks, proving that Rainier was the source. And when the Lahars reached the Puget Lowland, the mud spread out, making the bedrock of the Enumclaw Plain. Exposure of the Osceola mud flow is rare. There's too many trees here in western Washington, but this is a pretty good look at the internal structure of a Lahar. See those boulders in that cliff? The boulders are scattered. There was no time for those boulders to settle out. This is a thing that flowed into place and is now solid bedrock. So for a long time, geologists thought maybe these were glacial deposits. But the perfect chemistry match and the internal structure, mud flow all the way. A rich history of Mount Rainier's eruptive past is recorded in volcanic deposits that surround the mountain. Today, more than 200,000 people live directly on the Osceola mudflat. Buried forests used to date the Osceola at 5,600 years ago now lie beneath sittings of towns that stretch from Mount Rainier all the way to the Puget Sound. Geologist Pat Pringle studies remarkably preserved timber buried by the ancient mud flows. These buried trees are like time capsules because they're, they're preserved so well. When you do find a, a buried tree with the bark on it, and if the tree has a lot of annual growth rings in it, well that is an opportunity to use a, a good technique called wiggle match radiocarbon dating with this wiggling decay curve from radiocarbon and the computer software helps you match it up to the best possible fit. And that really allows you to get within a decade or two uh, of the actual date of the event, the actual calendar date sometimes. Forecasting the next eruption remains elusive, but the science continues and geologists have determined that this will happen again. The west flank of Rainier looks most likely to fail next, sending volcanic mud flow all the way to Puget Sound. And even though it may be decades or even centuries before the mountain erupts, the concern is real. 